Welcome to the Like a Doss podcast, where Ronnie Doss shares insights regarding life, leadership, and personal development. For more of our resources, visit RonnieDoss.com. Now, let's join the podcast. Hey there, it's Ronnie Doss. Welcome to the Like a Doss podcast. Today, I want to talk to you very quickly about fighting for your life. Fighting for your life. You know, sometimes we, we think of people fighting for their lives, and that's when they get to the end, or maybe they've gotten sick, or they've dealt with something within their health, and now they're literally fighting for their life. But how many times do we wait until that happens before we'll start fighting for something that really is so precious and so valuable? Like your life is really valuable, and if you didn't have it, if you knew that your days were limited, and you only had so much time left, I think you'd probably bring a very different attitude to your day, to your family, to your physical health. I think to how you did things, how you talked to your coworkers, team members, people in your community at all. Like you'd be very different if you knew that your days were numbered. And I think we all get that, but we don't realize how true that can be or how close that could be to where we are. Like we think, oh, that, that bad things happen to other people, but it can't happen to me. And so I'll probably live my 75 years. That's the natural life expectancy for a person in, let's say, the United States. And I'll, I'll get that. And I'll get to see my kids grow up and grandkids. And I'll get to die at some point of old age. And I'll just go to sleep one night and maybe won't wake up. Like, I think that's how people think. But as we know, that's not always the case. And I don't want this today to be about dying, but I do want it to be about realizing that many times we don't live, that we're not fighting for our life. Like you may not be fighting for your life when you don't get up and you don't exercise every day. Like if you don't take care of your body, you're not really fighting for your life. You're just living. Like when you don't plan, when you don't have a big goal that you're working towards, you're really not fighting for your life. You may be fighting to survive just to stay in the same place that you've been, keep your money, keep your relationships the same, the same way, like stable, which stability is an illusion. You've probably heard me say that before. But many times we're just fighting to barely stay alive and just exist, but we're not fighting for our life being the thing that's going to breathe life into us and cause us to be inspired and passionate and motivated. And I just think that's sad. And so if you're listening to this today, my hope would be that you're not just going to continue to fight to stay alive, that you'll actually start to fight for your life. And that you'd think of a time in your life when you were winning, when things were going really well, or you were producing good results, and you felt good about yourself. Like, I want you to think about a time when that happened. And then if you hold that picture in your mind, you'll start to feel a little emotional kick, which are chemicals, right? Like, so the emotions that you feel are basically just chemicals. And so you produce chemicals with the pictures that you hold in your mind. And so if you can hold a good picture in your mind of when you are winning, you're going to feel a little bit of a kick of those chemicals. And if you can use that feeling a bit to take some action towards something that's a little better, a little different for you. Maybe it's one push-up. You get down, you do one push-up on the floor. You do one sit-up. And then tomorrow you decide you're going to do two. And you slowly build up a bit. You do something that's a little different. You feel good. So you write out some other goals and then you attack that goal that day. And you do something where you can check something off the list and then it feels good. And now you build a little bit of momentum and you start moving toward a better life, one where you feel fulfilled. Now, when I say a better life, it's not like I get to decide what your best life is for you because I don't know. I can only think of what mine is, but I have to be willing to fight for that if I want it. Like it's not going to come like nobody can fight for your life for you. I can't do it for you, your spouse can't do it for you, your parents can't do it for you, your kids can't do it for you. If you want a better life, one that has great emotional value, the one that one that provides great mental value, one that causes you to feel good physically. Like if you want that, if you want good relationships, then you have to fight for them. And you've got to be the one to do the work. So many people want it and they'll scroll through and watch it on Facebook for other people like your phone's like some kind of slot machine and every time you hit the, the scroll through on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever the other ones are, like you scroll through those and you get this little kick of dopamine and it feels good to check out everybody else's life but you're using that feel good to cause you to be complacent and become casual and not fight. 
And like if you knew you had to fight, if fight or flight was kicking in, you'd get all the good benefits of what your brain can do. You start firing off endorphins and adrenaline and you're really to, ready to attack something. And I think you need to attack your life that way. And you might say, well, Ronnie, I did that for a while and it just didn't work. Well, then you quit. You did it for a while and you quit. So you decided in your mind how long you were going to do that, but then you decided it was too long and then you quit. You see, if you quit, it just means that something didn't meet your standard for what you thought it was going to be. When in fact, if you can just remove the idea of what you think it's supposed to be and just start working at it every single day and start and restart and start again and go for it and use today as a tool to put you into the lane that you need to be in, then in time, things will get better for you. And you can move back into that season where you were producing great results and where you felt good about you. Because when you feel good about you, you have something better to offer other people. You see, if you're the kind of person that doesn't feel good about you, you're always in fear, always worried about what's going to happen. Well, I can't go here. I can't do this. And you make up all this stuff. Like, that's your own mojo. Like, the benefits you get out of that are that you get to stay comfortable even though you're miserable. And there's a lot of people that way. But that's not how we want to live. So fighting for your life it's where you'd say, hey, I'm going to dig in. I'm going to do something a little differently today. I'm not going to wait till the weekend to go out to dinner one time and then be done. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm going to get up each day and fight for what I want, set some goals and go for it. The next thing you know, you can go out to dinner every day if you want to. You can go somewhere nice. You can travel to a new place, somewhere you haven't been. Then you can buy the things that you want, if that's what you want. Or you can give your money away, but at least you have some. At least you have something because you worked for it. You fought for it. Like success is something that's pretty simple if you'll just keep fighting for it and not quit. But if you don't set a goal, you've already decided what your life is going to be. And now you're just proving yourself right that, well, this is what should be good for you. When in fact, you know when you look in the mirror whether you're living a good life for you or not. And if you look up and you realize you're not, then I'm going to challenge you to set some goals and start attacking them. Like don't wait. Because you don't know. There's no guarantee. If you've lost people in your life that you didn't expect to lose. I lost my stepdad when he was 60. I lost my mentor that I worked for when he was 60. Like it was very sudden, both of them. And I think about that a lot. I think about my life and go, you know, I'm in my mid-40s. And so there's really no guarantee. Like you think you're going to be here for a while. And I pray that I am. And I get to see my kids grow up. And I get to have grandkids and all that. I can hope for that. But there's no guarantee of that. And so I'm just going to do the work today and see if there's something good that can come out of it. And as I discipline my mind, discipline my thinking, discipline my body, better things happen. And as those better things happen, I get to enjoy the benefits of that. And even if things don't happen the way that I think that they're going to or hope that they're going to, I at least get to look in the mirror and have some self-respect knowing that I went for it and that I gave it my all. And that's what I would challenge you to do today. Like live like you're dying, right? Fight for your life. Don't just fight to live. Don't just fight to stick around and exist. Don't be dead already, right? What do they say? Like some people die at 35. They're not buried till they're 80. Don't think that way. Don't let fear run your life. Like why did you let fear creep into your life anyway? And why has it taken over in any area? Why are you fearful in your finances? Why are you fearful in your relationships? Why are you fearful when it comes to traveling and seeing the world? Like why are you feel fearful at all? Like, who gave you those limitations, and why do you even allow them to exist? Why is it every time a, a, a negative thought comes into your mind, you just don't confront it and be like, no, that's, that's, that's just BS. That's just some, some voice telling me that I shouldn't do it to try and keep me safe. And yeah, that might be okay, but you stay safe long enough, you get bored. And when you get bored, your motivation leaves. And when the motivation leaves, you don't feel like doing anything. Now you're just safe in a mediocre life. And that's not what you want. I know it's not what you want. It's not what I want. So let's get to work. Let's fight for our lives. Let's set some goals, attack them, and go for it today. Today's as good a day as any. Don't wait any longer. This is your life. It's Ronnie Doss. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.